Hello fellow students, seeing as we're in the same class, I'm going to assume that you've all read Chapter 5 of Edward King's Garbology and are well aware of the issue that microbeads are causing in oceanic and even intercoastal waters. Now maybe you care, maybe you don't, but that's not my place to judge. But do you know there have been over 663 different marine species negatively impacted by marine debris, with 11% reported cases specifically related to the ingestion of microplastics? Once these microbeads reach a water source, they can act like tiny sponges and absorb a multitude of toxins. Then, fish eat the microbeads and inadvertently ingest all these deadly toxins along with them. And guess what happens after the fish eat the microbeads? That's right, we eat the fish. Not only that, but did you know that microbeads are small enough to slip through water filtration systems, which means that plastic toxins are ending up back in our drinking water. Now, I don't know about you, but a ban on microbeads is sounding better and better every time I hear it. With a ban on microbeads and a worldwide allegiance to produce safer products, it may not be too late to save our oceans and water sources. Thank you guys for listening.